Hello viewers, welcome to K-Diagnostics, Dio here. Today we have a 2013 Mercedes E350 with a 3.5 liter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace front brake pads and brake rotors on this vehicle. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the tire so we can get access to the brake rotor and the brake pads. So now let's get the tire removed. All right, so we got the tire removed. So now we're gonna remove this cover over here that says Mercedes. So this cover is just gonna be pried out. So right there, we're gonna remove this. Now we're gonna remove the caliper spring. All right, so here comes the caliper spring. We're gonna get that out of the way. So now we're gonna remove this torque bolt that holds the brake rotor on the hub flange. So we're gonna undo this. All right, so here's the small bolt. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to turn our steering knuckle this way. So right there. All right, so that's good. Now I'm going to bring you guys over here so I can show you what I'm gonna do next. All right, so we're gonna disconnect this brake wear sensor right there. So now we're gonna pry the caliper towards me, okay? So that we can retract the caliper piston. So I'm gonna get a screwdriver and get it in here and pry. All right, so right there, as you can see, we have retracted the caliper piston. So right now the caliper can move in and out freely. So that's good. So now the next step is going to be removing the caliper bolt. The caliper has two bolts that we have to undo so we can remove it. There is one up here and then there's another one down here. I'm gonna bring you guys over here so I can show you the two bolts that I'm about to remove. All right, so here is the back of the caliper. We're gonna undo this bolt over here and the other one that's down here. These are 13 millimeter bolts, so let's undo them so we can remove the brake caliper. All right, so here are the caliper bolts. So we're gonna get them out of the way. So now the caliper should be able to come out. So right there, here comes the brake caliper. So here is the first brake pad. So this is the outer pad. So we're gonna get this out of the way. So now we're gonna lift our brake caliper I'm going to remove this inner pad. So as you can see, the inner pad is completely worn out. Okay, see how worn out this is. So let's get this out of the way. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bungee cord to hang the caliper up here because we don't want the caliper hanging on the brake hose. So we're going to hang the caliper up here. So the caliper is out of the way. So now we're going to remove the caliper bracket. The caliper bracket has two bolts. There is one up here and then another one down here. Once we undo these two bolts, the caliper bracket is going to come out and then the brake rotor should be able to come out also. So now I'm going to undo the caliper bracket bolt. So here is the first caliper bracket bolt. So now we're gonna remove the second one. So here comes the second one. And here is the caliper bracket. Okay, so these two bolts go over here. First one goes here and then the second one goes right there. So we're gonna get the caliper bracket out of the way. So now, as you can see, our brake rotor can come out now. So I'm just gonna remove the brake rotor. So right there, as you can see, this rotor is completely worn out. Look at the back of it. Oh my goodness. This brake rotor is completely worn out. Okay, so we're gonna remove this. Let's get this out of the way. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this hub flange and then we will install the new brake rotor. So now let's clean this. All right, so we cleaned the hub flange. So now I'm gonna apply a little bit of anti-seize compound over here before we install the brake rotor. All right, so that's good. So now we're gonna install our new rotor. All right, so here is our brand new brake rotor. So before we install it, we're going to clean it up with some brake clean first. So let's spray some brake clean over here. So we have to clean off the oil that they put at the factory on these rotors so that the rotors don't rust out. Okay. So right there, the brake rotor is cleaned, so now we can install it. So the brake rotor is installed, so now we're going to put this bolt over here that holds the brake rotor in place. All right, so the brake rotor is installed. So 
So now we're going to install the caliper bracket. Alright, so now I'm gonna tighten the caliper bracket bolt. The torque spec for the caliper bracket bolt is 45 foot pound. Alright, so I have tightened the caliper bracket bolt. Alright, so now we're gonna install our new brake pads. So here is our new pad. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install our new brake wear sensor on this brake pad. So our brake wear sensor is gonna go this way. We're gonna push it down. So right there. So right there. So we installed our brake wire sensor on the brake pad. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of anti-seize compound on this pad. So that's good. So I'm going to remove this bungee cord that I put up here to hold the caliper up. So I'm gonna install my inner pad over here on the brake caliper. All right, so right there, my brake pad is installed. The other thing we wanna check is these caliper pins. We have to make sure that the caliper pins are sliding in and out freely. As you can see, these pins are sliding in and out freely, so that's good. Okay. So now we're gonna install the outer brake pad. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put a little bit of anti-seize compound over here. So this is gonna go right there. So now we can install our brake caliper. So we're gonna install our brake caliper now. So right there, our brake caliper is installed. So now we're gonna install our caliper bolt. On this model, you have to make sure that you install both brake pads on the caliper first before you slide the caliper on the caliper bracket. So we're gonna install the caliper bolt.
All right, so now I'm gonna tighten the caliper bolt. All right, so I tightened the caliper bolt. So now the next step will be connecting this brake wire sensor. So we're just gonna push it in like that. So right there, the brake wire sensor is installed. So now the next step is gonna be installing the brake caliper spring. So we're gonna turn our hub this way. All right, so we're gonna install the caliper spring. So right there, the caliper spring is installed. So now we're gonna install this plate over here that covers the caliper spring. So we're gonna install this plate over here that says Mercedes. So right there, we are almost done. We're gonna double check everything and then we will install the tire. All right, so I'm double checking everything back here. The Caliper bracket bolts are tightened. The caliper bolts are tightened. The wear sensor is installed. The spring over here for the caliper is installed. So we're good to go. So now we're gonna install the tire. All right guys, so I'm gonna leave this right over here. This is how you remove and replace front brake pads and brake rotors on this 2013 Mercedes E350 with a 3.5 liter. I hope you liked this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in a comment box. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.